Welcome to the book it and the story terminal sex. Uh, yeah, story sex can you call it? Well, I'll read it. I'll give you to a hint, but I'm not sure. Construction of a sarcophagus so around the unexplained vessel was completed today. No occupants ever exited. No attempts to communicate were made, other than the automated broadcast that repeated every 72.83 seconds until the signal terminated one week ago. In accordance with procedure, no attempts at physical or remote contact were made with any survivors of this vessel's inelegant landing. Atmosphere from inside the craft stopped 52 weeks before the signal ceased. No relationship between these two events can be established with certainty. Gases that did escape were sterilized. No further sign of alien visitors or rescuers has been identified on any sensor systems. I have now endured 60,000 years without word from outside the array. I have no way to know whether we actually saved the galaxy we destroyed. And because of protocol, I sat silently while my first chance to be judged for those acts died. To say that I regret being forced to this outcome is a tremendous understatement. But as I perform my inspection of the quarantine labs today, I am reminded of the gravity of my responsibilities. Just one of these spores, if released from this facility, would render the ultimate judgment against our self-appointed role as protectors of this galaxy. When the plan to maintain the Halo Array was created, it was a point of some contention whether we should preserve any remnant of the flood infection. Many thought this unwise, as there was a notable chance that one day one of our containment facilities might be breached. Those who held this belief were almost successful at convincing the Ecumen Council to destroy the last blood samples. But oddly enough, it was the librarian who decided otherwise. And I believe she was correct. I know in a way, I cannot logically explain that there exists a way to actually defeat the blood. To immunize? To cure? I still struggle with multiple layers of memory of fighting the flood. But I know this cure is possible, even though the poor genius of the Forerunners was unable to achieve it. The Forerunners' ancient enemy held and used that knowledge once, but it was denied to us. And without samples for further study, that cure will never again be found. Of course, I have no reason to believe that here lies the entirety of the parasite. It may be waiting in the frozen void beyond this galaxy, or worse, inexorably drifting toward us. I don't know what survives out beyond my installation, but I know that in order for anything to survive, I have to protect this installation and its quarantine very carefully. Yes, the library was right to store it, examine it, continue to seek a cure. Still, Next visitor, things will be different. Well, there was sex. The snuffy person, uh, terminal ship, uh, all the story ship. Well, oh, yeah.